after we tore up our whole closet and we weren't able to find a snake. This guy is driving a stolen Honda and uh, we saw him getting on the freeway. Ran his play down computer and even before we turned the lights on, he took off. Okay, we're coming up to Yakima, going about 70. Now we blew the red light and blew the four-way at Park. We're still eastbound, coming up to Pacific. We should have a unit with spike strips here. Speeds are about 50, we're coming up to 72nd. Westbound 72nd. Westbound 72nd. When I tried to get up to pit him, he tried to ram me. He swerved right across, across the bow of the car. Okay. Southbound, right through 84. Southbound, He's uh, turning on to 116. We're south on Spanaway Loop from 116. In the corners, I try and get close enough to pit him. He swings his car over and tries to take off the front of my car. He just rear-ended a car at 138, and we're going to run. Get in the car! Are you okay, sir? Sir, mm -hmm. we've got medical aid coming for you, okay? This is the uh, stolen Honda we've been chasing for the last couple of minutes. He's got, uh, you can see the stock ignition is tucked in the, under the dashboard, and then he's got another one he had a key to, he just plugged in. So, did a pretty good job on the front end of this, uh, whoever's Honda this was. Search his car yet, or? Not yet. If uh, maybe there's more of a reason he ran from the police other than he was just in a stolen car. Make sure we do he doesn't have a lab or he doesn't have any guns or anything like that in here. We're closer. There's this broken drug pipe and a lighter. 
marks on Kevin's car look like the guy actually ran into the side of his car. I think he probably did. Okay. I think he just, I think, because he took off from here, and I just, I mean, he's on the road, I don't, right. like, if I can run after him in a car, I will. And Kevin just cut him off. Yeah. And he just bunched into Kevin's, Kevin's hood and landed in the grass there. Okay. And yeah, then, he's got some marks on the side of his hood, and, it, like, yeah. Bad guy ran into Kevin. I tried to jump person. over his car and couldn't get over it. All right. So, all right, boss. Thank you. Here you go. Sir, here's your goss to hold up there. What else does he need? Right now, that's it. It looks like he has a, a broken tooth and possibly a broken nose. Right. How are you? Yeah, who are you? Derek? Did you know the police were behind you? Not at first. So at what point did you realize the police were back there? Right before I hit that car. Before you hit the car? Did you see the red and blue lights and all that? No, you didn't hear the siren? The stereo was up loud. It wasn't loud? Yeah. Okay. Is your leg hurt? I do believe it's broken. Okay. <laughs> to whom does the car belong? I'm done answering the questions, thank you. Medical aid's on the way for you. We're done answering questions. The victim's going to be transported to St. Clair. OK. Uh, so I'll do, I'll handle this side over here. I got the toes coming. We'll get the slips done for both of them. So thanks for your help, man. All right, buddy. Transport bad guy to the hospital. He's got a sore leg from when he rear-ended the car that sits right back here at the intersection. The guy that got rear-ended has got a bloody nose, but uh, I think he'll probably be okay. We got a stolen vehicle in front of us. Yeah, 41 on our book. Kentucky versus. I mean, stolen out of this. Stolen out of this department. Could be eastbound on Asher. That's a bad thought. Dislocation. Yeah, so he's supposed to be armed. We're trying to get another unit behind me before we blue light him. We're coming up on the MLK now. 419, go ahead. If you're not 10-6, sir. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Drop the coke. The drive, Drop the coke. Keep your hands up. The car ain't drive, man. Damn, man. Got it. Five two seven in custody. Clear the net. Roll over on your side. Roll over. Roll over. Roll, Roll over. over. I ain't done nothing, sir. Roll over. Oh, Kick him up against the car. Me. Right there. Mike, can you do some car stuff? Why are you driving a stolen car, man? My ain't want to drive me this car. Why are you driving a stolen car? You thought about taking off, didn't you? Huh? huh? No. I ain't done no wrong. Where's your gun at, man? I got no damn gun. You ain't got no gun? How come you didn't stop when I hit the blue lights? Well, you, cause you just hit them. That's I not. hit the blue lights back there on MLK. Why are you just now stopping? I ain't dense, sir. I can see you. You got any guns or dope in the car? Anything we need to know about? Lean back. Safety. <laughs> no, I ain't done nothing, sir. What uh, motel is that to? My girlfriend had on. Who's your girlfriend? Turn around. Who's your girlfriend? Do me a favor and kick your shoes off. Whose car is this, man? The woman let me use the car. She still got my ID, sir. What woman is this? I don't know her name. You better start talking or you're fixing to get charged with it. And that's fine with me unless you want to start talking. Put I that in there. To the dope house where she let me get the car. Though. You can take me to the dope house where she lets For you get show. the car. For show, that. For show? Yeah, yeah. Where's that at? On 28th and Harrison. 28th and Harrison? Yeah, What's yeah. that girl's name? I told you, I don't know her name. It's your girlfriend. She ain't my girlfriend. I'm talking about the crackhead that let me use this car. The crackhead that lets you use the car. Well, who is it? Because obviously she's the one that stole it, right? Yes, sir. I can take you to her. 
She got my ID and everything, sir. All right, come on, we'll go back here and talk to me in the car then. Talk to me. Well, you're gonna have to talk or you just get charged with, that's fine with me. I could care less. Have a seat. All right, we'll be back to talk to you in a second. Are you the owner of the car? Yes, I am. Okay, what happened? Well, he was in the back seat with a um, gun and stuff, so I was... Um, what time, when did all this happen? It was probably about 4.35 in the morning. 4.35 o'clock in the morning? Where did it Friday happen? Friday morning. Where did this happen at? At the coastal on Asher, the coastal gas station. The coastal, okay. Uh-huh. And what happened? He was in the back seat and he told me to drive, to take him where he wanted to go. And I was calming him down. I was telling him he could have that little old bucket. You know, I was just trying to let him know the car wasn't that important to me and that he can have it. Right. And so then he tried to give me his gun. He was like, well, I just want you to take me where I got to go and stuff. I'm like, no, you can just have this car take yourself where you want to go. And believe it or not, he gave me his ID and told me he was going to bring it back. He ever put the gun to your head or anything like that? When I got back in the car, he was laid back in the seat. I didn't see him until he jumped up with the gun and told me to drive drive him wherever he wanted to go. And I walked And gave you his ID? Him. He gave me his ID. And said, I'll bring it back, it. or he what? He was like, I'll drop it off somewhere around the area um, later on that day. And don't call the police, because I'm going to kill you and your family on the blood. That's what he told me. You want to tell us uh, the real reason how you got this car now? So I'm telling you how I got the car, sir. OK, I wouldn't be asking you questions if I didn't already know, OK? So I'm telling you, I gave the woman some crack cocaine. Look, I'm sir. not stupid. This is my first day on the job. How'd you get it? That's why I'm telling you how I got it, sir. Do you want me to tell you how you got it? You can't. Because I already know how you got it. Now, I, I just want to hear it from you. You I, got a felony warrant out on you I, from the I county. I, I know what I got on me. Might so why don't you start talking so maybe we can help you out on some of this stuff? i tell you, sir, I was on 28th and Harrison. I gave the woman some crack cocaine for her car. And she said, sir, the car is not stolen. I said, well, hold my ID to I bring it. When'd you get back. it then? Um, last night at 12 o'clock. That's a lie. Are you going to tell me what I know, man? Because I'm telling you what I know. Man, I'll tell you the truth. I've been telling you the truth ever since you stopped me. You're professional. You're, you're professional, aren't you? I gave her my ID, so I told her to Next time, leave your ID. ID at home when you carjack a vehicle, all right? I'm still telling you, smart dude, man. He's saying that he met you at somewhere on Harrison Street and pulled up to one of his buddies' house. Somebody drove him over there and met you in the street no, and no. gave you some crack cocaine and his driver's license to drive the car. No. And then you reported it stolen. No, no, no. I work every day and, and um, I don't do stuff like that. Right. I was going to well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm looking at you. I don't, you really uh -huh. don't look like no, you're on I, crack cocaine. No. So, all right, well, what we're going to have to do is you're going to have to go down, follow us, follow the police car, down to the detective division downtown. You have to go down there and give a statement. You're going to have to pick this guy out of a photo spread. Okay. This is a uh, photo lineup. And I want you to tell me if there's anybody in here that looks familiar to you, okay? That one. Okay. And who is number two? The one that had the gun. Okay. When did he have a gun? The one who carjacked me. Okay. That, that's him. That's him? Uh -huh. Okay. Positively identified number two. Good job. Good job, Barbara. She picked it out real quick, didn't she? Yeah, she picked number two immediately. As soon as you laid it down on there. Yeah, and I had two pieces of paper here, so she couldn't see through it. So right. um, she definitely knows who he is. Now, we ran the plate before we pulled it over. The vehicle's stolen. Uh, I'm going to wait for another unit before we uh, try to stop it here. I'm going to light him up here. OK, he's going to stop. We're going to be just east. Driver, put your hands out the window. OK, reach in and grab the keys. Put them on top of the rig. OK, exit the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands in the air, all the way up. Spin 360 degrees for me. Turn around, stop. Walk backwards to the sound of my voice. Keep coming, keep coming, stop. Down on your knees, cross your ankles. Put your hands on top of your head. Put your hands on top of your head. Sit straight up for me. Okay? Just stay right like that. Don't move. Uh-huh. 
Okay, stand up. What did I do, officer? Well, we'll talk about that here in just a second, okay? Okay. Any sharps can put me, cut me, or stick me. No, I don't think so. Anybody else in there? No, it looked like it was just him. Anybody else in there? Nope. Okay, what's Anybody your name? Yeah. Josh. Josh. Okay, have a seat, don't touch nothing. Uh -huh. You have the right to remain silent, and you say can will be used against you in court law. You're right this time. Talk to an attorney. Have him present with you. I'm being questioned. You understand that? Yes. Okay. You understand the rig you're driving stolen? I did not know that, sir. You didn't know that? No. Well, who'd you get it from? A guy named Tony drives a black Bronco. Where's Tony at? I don't know. Okay. Well, it's stolen. You're driving it. So downtown you go. Okay. All right. Grab a seat in there for me. We know him. He's got picked up by Deputy Eldridge for driving another stolen car a while back. So we'll search it here and see what else he's got. Here's his ID. Okay. He claims he doesn't know it was stolen. Yeah, right. This is the second one. He said he got it from Tony. Sure he did. He knows exactly what to say. Seems as this is the second time I've gotten him. Keys were on top of the roof. Number 2149. There it is. Oh. Yeah, I don't know it's stolen, but the key's bent and shaved. Yeah. It's a bent key and shaved down, and they use them to steal rigs like that. So, Let me start a more likely he knew it was stolen because he's got a shaved down key, yeah. So we'll need a tow. Who's going to transport him? Go. Cool. Right. What do you got? Josh? Can I put him in somebody else's rig? I'll put him in your rig. All right. You will pick it. My wallet in there? Yeah, we'll get it. Okay, hey Josh. Come here. How can you know that rig's not stolen? I don't know. Where'd you get the key? From Tony. From Tony? It was in the ignition when I got it. How come it's all bent up like that? I have no idea. I didn't do it. Okay. You didn't do it? You're no, driving I it. I borrowed it. Okay, didn't Deputy Eldridge just get you out another stolen rig? I wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I did, mm -hmm. but I didn't steal the rig. I'm not saying you stole it, but you had to know it was stolen. I did not know, honestly. Okay, I mean, you got a shaved down bent key. I didn't do it. Okay. Honestly, I know. Okay, well, you're driving it, so you're I going down for possession of stolen property. Last time I got you for stolen, right? Why do all these stolens keep popping up around I you? I don't know. I just you don't back have a and job. You. Yes, I do. Okay. I just got did a you job. Just start it? I just okay. got a job last so week. So you have an income coming in yes, weekly? Yes, I do. How, how much did you pay for that truck? I didn't pay nothing for it. I borrowed the vehicle. So you keep borrowing these stolen vehicles? <laughs> no. Uh, the last one, you Make know what the deal Josh, was. Josh, because this is the, the second time. I borrowed the vehicle because it was my first day off in 10 days. Uh -huh. I just started the job. Okay. I was down at the lake partying. Okay. Campfire beers, you know, the deal. Okay. Okay. I came. I was coming up here to see if a friend of mine wanted to come down. Okay. Okay. I'm following you. Keep going. I borrowed the vehicle from a dude in a black Bronco named Tony. Just push bumpers on the front. It, it just it just amazes me that how all these stolen vehicles just keep wandering up wandering in it's, your possession like they do. I don't know. I don't, I don't Honestly, know either. I don't know. I'm trying to straighten my act. How many I times have you been arrested for stolen vehicles in the past? One. Okay. Then and you I got convicted 16. for? Yeah. Okay. I was 16 years you, old. Are you seeing the pattern here? You, yeah, you want I know. to believe you, but it's a little hard. I, I understand that, officer. But honestly, I didn't steal it. I know I got a bad rap sheet, but that. Okay, well, I'm not saying you stole them, but you're, you know you're in possession of them. I'm you in had possession to know something of was it. wrong with that. No, I didn't. So he just says, here, oh, here, no, just drive this. A, a, I was in work release with a guy, and... <laughs> that well, should be your clue. You're in work release with yeah, him. Yeah, but he, he's been on the straight and narrow, honestly. Well, obviously, he's not on the straight and narrow. I guess so. Okay. It's, well, you better give him all the info you can give him on Tony. That's okay, if Tony all exists. I know. Tony does exist. Okay, but that's... well, we'll find out if he does. All right? Where is he at right now? Northbound approaching 84th Lane 2. I'll wait for you. Um, there's a vehicle up here. I noticed a driver from earlier. He's got a possible felony warrant. We contacted him earlier in the evening, and he apparently lied to us about his name, so we're going to conduct a traffic stop on him and see what we can come up with. 363 County Traffic. Parking lot of the B&I on Adam. I didn't. Here's the deal, man. Okay, we talked to you earlier. Yeah. Put your hands on the steering wheel for me. Okay, 
when my partner ran you, came back as no computer record. Then, no. it, okay, wait a minute. Let me talk to you first. <laughs> Through further investigation, after we left you, records got a hold of him saying that you might be under another name. Okay? So, what I want you to do is put the cigarette out, okay. and then we're going to come out and we're going to talk. All right, when you step out of the vehicle, keep your hands where I can see them and move to the back of the vehicle. Okay, okay come on back here. Okay. okay, turn around. Turn around, put your hands on the vehicle. 30 feet for me. I'm going to detain you right now. Okay. And then we're going to find out who you really are. Let me have your other hand. Oh, you got an idea? Come on back here. Actually, you don't? Okay. I didn't lie to you. I gave you my name. You're talking about Darren. Is Darren your brother? That's your brother? Yeah. Okay. What's your first name? David. Okay, I'm still giving you the benefit of that. We're going to pull up booking photos and find out who you are. Okay. This is my twin brother. Your twin brother. Okay. We'll find out. If it's your brother that has the warrant, then we'll deal with it. The person matching the description of the warrant looks just like you with the tattoos. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Why don't you look at that picture on my computer screen? Did you have him tell me I one detained? No, go ahead. 363 County, one detained. You want to take him back there and just take a quick look? Have a seat here for a second. Wait a minute, hold tight here. Let's take a look out here. I know, I'm scammed. Sit down. Sit down. He says his brother. Okay, according to the warrant. Look at the mark. Okay, you're going to jail for felony warrant for obstructing a police officer. I'm Darren. You're Darren. So we're going to end playing this game now, and you're telling me that this is you. Okay, what's the deal? Man, I've been fighting, got my kids back. Did you know you had a felony warrant? No, I didn't. Who's that gal in the car with you? I don't know her name. Where Dave, did you? Dave just asked me to give her a ride. Where did you meet her at? At New York, Dave's. Okay. All right, watch your head. So much for having a twin brother. I'm going to talk to her again. Let's pull her out, put her on your bumper until we figure out who she is. I'm going to search the vehicle. Go ahead turn around, put your hands on your back. I'm just detaining you right now. Is there anything in the car that belongs to you that we should know about? Step back. You're not under arrest. You're just being detained until we figure out who you are. Okay? That's your purse right there, right? That's your cousin's purse? Are you telling me that because there might be something in there that shouldn't be? Like what? Go ahead and turn around. Have a seat. Turn around. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a... We're going to find it anyway, so... I know. Go ahead. Tell me what's in it. There's a rig in there. Okay. Careful in the purse. Why? It's a rig. What? You get stuck with a needle, maybe. What? What do you have There's on There's a rig in there. Okay. Did she tell you that? Yeah. This one might be blank. I'm not really sure. No, it looks like there's a little bit of blood drawn in there, so there's some type of material in there. There's probably some more stuff in here. John, I've got an ID on her, too. What did she give you? I see that one. I don't know if this is her or not. This looks a little bit different. Is that her? Looks Tracy. Oh, look, look at that, two different names. Same picture, two different dates of birth, two different names, two addresses. Let me go talk to her real quick. Wait a minute, here. Here's a... She's got one, five IDs under the same name. Different driver's licenses and different dates of birth, each with a different booking number at the Pierce County Jail. So, see this is going to keep, just keep going. Come on out for a second. Hop on out. You want to talk to me about these? Well, it's not a joke because, I know, no, wait a minute, a stop. Please. Two of these IDs you actually have Washington State IDs for with your photo. I know. So it's not a joke. Know, okay, what's up with these? Those. Okay, those are pretty good IDs. What's up with the rest of these? Do you have Washington State IDs under all these pictures? Because it sure looks like you do. Why do you have multiple IDs? You trying to hide something? I have warrants. You have warrants for what? We'll find out. We'll be here all night. You failed BTC, so you have felony warrants for failing BTC for what? What type of, what type of drug? Methamphetamine. 
Okay, okay how long have you known you had the warrant for? 23 days. About a week. So, are any of these actually you, minus the photo? No, sir. None of these. Not one of these is you. No, sir. So you provided false information originally, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Well, if we confirm the warrant, you're going to be going down with your partner. That's going to go into evidence. So you're going to go for the warrant and for obstruction, just like he is. All right. Go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head. Well, she might get a couple years in the penitentiary for this. If she's failed the drug treatment, I think that was her final straw. Go on in, officer. Okay. Please. What's going on? Uh, I got a snake in my closet. You got a snake in your closet? Please, she'll take off. Okay. You got you got a snake in your? I got my crap all over the table. He's in that whole closet. It's a baby. It's a baby black. It's black and it's got orange and gold bands. Okay. Uh, All right. Do you he's need a, a towel or something? No. He's no. in there. He's right in here? Yeah, I can turn the whole light on. Okay. God love you guys. Where's he at? I don't know. He didn't, I just saw him sliver in there. You saw him sliver in? Yes. Okay. No, he's got to be in here somewhere. He's got to be in here somewhere. Do you need or something? No, I don't think so. It's just a baby. It's a beautiful snake. I don't want his ass in my house. <laughs> What? How did you I notice can't him? Help it, Mom. Where, I'm freaking out. where did you notice him at? Was, was he just? I mean, was he was he coming through the hallway? No, he was coming from the kitchen and the and the there. All right. Oh my God. But he couldn't have climbed up the wall already, could he? I don't think he would have climbed up the walls. We sure climbed up the steps. How else could he got in my house? Oh, he, he could have slid underneath this back door. Could have. Oh, I gotta get some kind of snake place, away or lots something. Lots of places he could have came in. He's not in your snake basket. Uh, I got my mom itching now. <laughs> I think where he probably went, there's a couple spots in here. I think he probably might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh, please, little snake. Oh. I don't think the snake would have, would have, or could have, climbed up the the wall there. So I think what he may have done is he may have gone down between the baseboards. There's a nice wide gap between the baseboard and the back here. You got a hammer? I could pull these baseboards okay. up for you real quick and check. So tell me, what, what were you doing? I was cleaning. I was rock and rolling. I'm um, getting my act together here. OK. And also? And I just walked through here and forgot I had to get something out of there. And no sooner I turned around, he, he curled right into that closet. I see him. Oh, God love you. I see his tail. Now I see that the snake, I see his tail, he's curled up back behind his piece of baseboard. So I'm gonna have to take this other do what you piece do. of. All these woods around here, and he's gotta pick my cloth, find a home. Come on up, oh God, please. Okay, I don't see him. believe this tomorrow at work. Oh my god. They're not gonna believe it. Tell you what, let's go downstairs real quick. Might have crawled down in the basement. Yeah, he might be down in the basement. Oh my god, there he is. Where? Right there. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was that wire, that wire and it freaked me out, sorry. All right, it's kind of moving. freaking me out. You're going to all freak out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. So the snake's buried himself. We actually did a pretty good number on the, uh, the closet with her permission to try and locate the snake. But so far, we haven't been able to find him. Um, I really am kind of kind of afraid to go do any more damage to her to her house here. I mean, she was awful frightened about the snake. I really would have liked to have got him. Whew. Well, yeah, I'm sorry we weren't able to find your snake, especially after all the, the damage we caused to your, it's not a problem. To your wall there. But I'm calmer now. I'm going to go take my shower. I got my cat, one cat at the edge of the bed, my dog, and I know 
I'm calmer now. I'm not afraid. I'll get him. Well, I'm glad as long as he's not poisonous, I'll get him out. God love you. I'll give you a hug. You're welcome. You guys do a fantastic job. I appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. Okay. You take care. You too. All right? You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll be okay. Well, I feel bad for the, for the young lady because we tore up her whole closet and we weren't able to find a snake. Is he, is he's he... out. He's out. He's out. Look in the corner, in the corner, in the okay. corner, in the corner. I don't have my there flashlight. He there he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want this uh, wash rag? Or what uh, do you want to do? Isn't he pretty? Isn't he pretty? What is he? Here, put him I'm around not exactly my sure here. I got oh my god. Oop, I don't want to get careful. Oh, jeez. You want my toilet thing? Oh god, look at him. He's, he's wants to strike. Oop. Oh, be careful, please. Here you go. I got him. I got him. You got him? Okay, I'll yeah. get the door. We were on our way out the door after we uh, no, tore this young lady's closet all to pieces and weren't able to find a snake, and he decided to make an appearance as we were leaving. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of snake this is. See, do you think, um, I've never seen one like that. He's a pretty little snake. Isn't he pretty? He's so just a baby. So what I'm going to oh do. Oh, God, I was too wrong on the colors. I'm going to take too him wrong. outside, out into the, Where the, hell did I get the yard and that? just let him go. Oh, Oh, this is unreal. There he goes. Okay, we're en route to a burglary in pro progress. Uh, apparently, uh, it's a... Uh, Citizen broke down. His truck was broken down the side of the road, and there's uh, some guys hanging around the truck, trying to break into it. So we're gonna go see what's going on. Supposed to be a couple of black males taking tires out of a pickup truck. Okay, we're about to move in on this uh, vehicle with the guys. What kind of car are they in? Bulls about to pull out. Got the brake lights on now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, right here. Right here. One in the black, one in the black, one in the black. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get out the car. Put them back. Get out the car. Put your car in park. All right, sir. Get on the ground. Get your hands behind your back. You got cuffs? Yeah. Damn. Don't move. Yeah. Roll back towards me. Stand up. You want to stick him in a secure car? Oh, yeah. Come on, please, sir. Please, sir. Please. We got them all. Hey, we got them all. I guess. Okay, these are the tires that the individuals attempted to take. Um, as you can see, they loaded them up. We got two in the back, one in the front. And they were going to, I guess, uh, make a nice little profit off of them. But uh, unfortunately, the police intervened, and we got them. So they won't be robbing anybody else tonight. That's good work. Tell me what was going on back there. Yeah, the dude told me if he used my car, he's going to pay me to pay me in full to get them rims. He told me he seen the dude when he pulled up. He was like, man, go talk, go talk to him. He said, I'll pay you in full. Okay. I said, man, I just got this car, man. You trying to get my car stopped? Man, that's why, that's why I'm young, man. Money, I just, man, I just got a system in my car. Money rule the world, man. I swear to God, I got a job, a nine to five, and everything, man. Money talk, walk. I swear to God. I don't sell dope or nothing. I smoke weed, sir. Right. I heard a good amount of price. The dude told me give me five one hundred dollar bills, sir. I'm trying to but take. But you still went through with price. that anyway. No, sir. That's, okay. I, he took one of the rims just to make sure I wouldn't steal the car. Where's he? I don't know. I, I never seen him. He talked me into doing it. Okay. Right over there. All Bought right. me a six pack and everything. He was like, man, all I need is your car. I ain't got no car. Tell me he's calling the shop. Okay. I knew it had to be. Something Do you know this guy? Car. No, I don't know the guy. Five hundred cash. You don't got to know to do. And right. a six pack. Right. Yeah. Well, you've just gotten yourself involved in a felony. Now we can seize your car. Now it'll belong to the police department. I worked hard for that car. I paid a thousand dollars cash. Well, you know what? <clears throat> Whosoever wheels those were worked hard for those, and you just stole them. So what do you think about that? 
Man. It's the same difference. We take your car, you take those wheels. Except we're doing it legally and you're not. Can I, can I call my mama, man? Mama? Right now you're gonna go down on a theft charge, 1,500 to 20,000, which is a felony. You're gonna have to go down to jail. You'll see a judge tonight. He'll set your bond and then you'll be de transferred down to the Mansfield jail. We will be held down there until you can post your bond. Do you have somebody you can call? Yes, sir. My mama stay right down the street on 48 normal block. Okay. Yeah, I was sitting right in front of my house a while ago. I knew something had to be up. Stick your feet in there for me. What we're going to do is put these tires back where they belong and uh, try to get in touch with the uh, registered owner of the vehicle. He probably He's probably not too far away, seeing that uh, it looks like his truck broke down. Pretty sure he'll be probably he'll be thankful that he uh, recovered his property. If we don't find the owner of the tires and the wheels and the pickup truck, we're going to take it down to the auto impound and uh, we'll hold it down there for safekeeping until he comes and claims it. What's the story? What's the story? The story with them tires that we and caught you with. Story. Yeah, it is. You ain't got to sit up in that crazy with me, okay? You ain't gotta act crazy. I ain't finna yeah. talk, man. I heard you saying he talked like a bird. I don't talk, man. I, I didn't say no. that. I heard it, man. You heard it? Yeah, man. Okay. So that's what that's the story you're gonna stick with? The story I just That you said. sticking with? I ain't saying You ain't saying nothing. That's a good thing, though. Don't say nothing. Yeah. He the ringleader. His, uh, his buddy told him that it was his idea and everything, so it's all going on him, because he won't say nothing to us. Thanks. Appreciate it. We had three out of the four tires were in the car. And then the second bad guy rolled this tire about halfway down the block behind this apartment building. He was, the deal that he made with the other guy was that he was gonna keep this as insurance until he got all the wheels. So we'll go down here and take a look at that and recover that, get it back to its rightful owner. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like it's all intact, so hope it's any. I guess he was gonna possibly throw it over that gate where they have that hole in the wall. I have juveniles in my driveway. Um, they're messing with their vehicles in their driveway, and I have them on video. Oh, and we got them in the vehicle, too. We got the vehicle. You've got one that you're holding there? Yes. Oh, they're, they're leaving. They're attempting to leave. Oh, my God, they've got him attached to the vehicle. What? They've got my husband attached to the vehicle. They're taking off. They're heading... Your husband's holding on to the vehicle? Yes. Oh, my God, they just left. Okay, well, we'll get out there as soon as we can. I'll go ahead and let you go. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Right now, we're heading to a call. Apparently, some juveniles vandalized the person reporting's home, and the person reporting is now clinging to their vehicle, and the vehicle is trying to escape while the person's still stuck to it. Got a unit that's arriving out with the vehicle right now. I want to disregard that. I forgot what door she's already gone. How you doing? What's going on, man? I don't know. We were just um, messing around with my girl. The girls were there. We were just toilet paper in his tree. Okay. And then he came out threatening us and then like all this stuff. And he punched me a couple times, so I tried to take off. Okay. And he was hanging on to the gear shift and messing it all up, and he broke it off. Okay. Why would you keep driving if he was hanging onto your vehicle? Well, just I think he might just... be able to kill somebody doing that. Yeah, but I didn't want to get hurt or nothing. He was punching me too. He says it's my lips going fat right now. He says you guys were urinating on his car. Was that happening or? No, I wasn't no. urinating on his car. Okay. Did you do any kind of drugs or anything? I stopped smoking weed just recently. Okay, who's who's might that be? What? A little bottle of weed that's in the car. I have no idea. No, you don't know. Okay. Not yours. No. I had just stopped like last week because I got in trouble for it. So just I went cold turkey last week, huh? Okay. You've been arrested as an adult? No. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you just to stand there in front of your truck and put your hands in the hood and leave them there for now, okay? Be the one that was flailing from the vehicle there? Yeah. As soon as I came out and they started running, I got the girl by the collar on her sweater. Okay. Right? So I grabbed her and I stopped her. Everyone else jumped in and the kids started to take off. I said, no, you're not going anywhere. I put my hand in, I put it in park. I said, wait here until the police come. Okay. I said, you better look roll the window down. I said, I'm going to rip this window out. Okay. No, you won't. I said, yes, I will. And I pulled the window like I was going to break it. He's like, okay, dude, okay, dude. And he rolled the window down. 
And then he's like, you better step back. And he's revving the engine. And he threw it in drive. I said, you ain't going nowhere. He started taking off. So I grabbed onto the car and I'm going. He's like, dude, see that truck there? You better jump off now. And he swerved the truck. I felt the truck go by in my back. I was like, oh, dude. I said, you better stop now. And I grabbed it. When he came around the corner and I threw it in park and the truck's making this noise and it's come to a stop. He's like, stop, stop. And he's trying to put it back in gear. So I punched him in the face and I threw it when I then just ripped the gear shift off and this is where it ended. Were you in fear of your life or anything at oh, that point? or? I wasn't until he said, dude, see that truck? You better get off. And when I swear, I thought I was going to be clipped. Was your arm stuck in the window? Yes. OK. I'm just okay. still scared. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw your shirt on there and just hang tight for a second, OK? All right. OK, ma'am, you want to kind of show me a terror these kids ran on your house here? When in the camera, I saw um, the, the boy come up to the vehicle. He walked up to the front of the vehicle, decided to take the leak at, at the front wheel. Um, the one girl, I don't know which girl, it was in with the ponytail, started toilet papering the, uh, the tree there. Um, when I see, saw that, that's when I went and, and, and got my husband and said, you know, those kids are here. We thought they were the other set of kids. Where are your cameras at? Um, <laughs> hidden pretty good, aren't they? <laughs> one's right up there in the corner. OK. One's right there in the corner. I have one at the front door okay. and one on that um, the far end of the house. You want to show us that video then? Yeah, come okay. on in. Part of my house. It's a little warm, warm right now. That's OK. It looks like you might have more, but I'm going to on this console. My system is right here. OK. How you doing, bud? Excitement, huh? Weird, I woke you, up, I looked outside. I you, like, you know these jokers? We don't know yet. He'll, we'll see if he can identify them. This is where um, it's, it's going to start. You'll see the vehicle come across, and then from there. See, here they come all four. He goes up the side. See, he's already going. Oh, he decides hey, to make it that way. Well, on the back tire first. But this is the driver. You can clearly he see him urinating right there on the on Right, the vehicle. and you can clearly see her toilet paper yeah, and everything. It's like... <laughs> Does that look like Zach? I don't know. But he, does he, he drive a gray Dodge? He's definitely back tire. Okay. I'm going to walk us back out there. What we'll do is we'll do a property report and we'll give you a seat oh, for the tape. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to the box to it. Okay. All right, Casey. So nobody else could wrap something that's yours. Is the marijuana yours? Okay. okay. Did you urinate on the pickup truck in the driving way? In the driveway? Okay. Did you drive down the street with this guy hanging out your window? All right. Go ahead and spread your feet apart from me, Casey. Put your hands behind your back. Put your palms together. Okay, Casey, at this time, we're gonna place you under arrest for uh, essentially for urinating on the vehicle, as well as battery with a deadly weapon for running this gentleman into a parked vehicle while he was stuck on your vehicle, and also possession of uh, less than an ounce of marijuana. This is one prank gone horribly, horribly bad. You know what could have happened if that man got ran over or fell and got underneath that truck? Yeah, All this for some toilet paper. Okay, Casey, so go ahead and have a seat. Watch your head when you sit down. Okay, great. Sir, just a bit of advice, regardless of what they did. Bad decision to go hanging onto the truck yeah. when the truck's driving down the street, um, especially since you have it on tape. Yeah. And that's the whole reason not yeah. to, to do that. He could have ran you into the oh, parked vehicle. You could have gotten close. killed or seriously injured, and it could have been a lot worse. Best thing to do if that ever comes across again, you got the video evidence of it. If they want to run, get the license plate. Just a little smarter decision in the future, OK? How you doing, ma'am? Did you call 911? Yes, sir. I sure did. Okay. What's going on? This woman in my house, she killed me. I need somebody to take me out of here. She killed a 90-year-old. I know. Yeah. She's 90-year-old. She's 
she asked me to stay and I've been here friend of her. And him uh, and she stabbed me a while ago because we was talking. Cause she was raising the devil with me. Okay. She did a what? She stabbed you. She stabbed me with a knife. She got a knife. Cause she got a knife? Let me see that. Let me see that. Thank you. She was raising the devil with you. I had to do something. See, that's a Have you been right now? woman and I'm nine. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. This woman, she ain't right. Okay. She Does she live with you? Here. She been, I've been, a, welcome her in here. Okay. And then she go get I've been with her three months trying to help her. You know what it's been for? Been in here running over me. You want to talk to me? I'm still. I don't know how bad it is. I'm hurt. Come in and hurt me. Okay. Sure ain't. I ain't gonna let her. She had to stab me for no reason. Okay. I'm a 90 years old. It's 23rd of September, September, which is 9th the 23rd. I will be 91. Ma'am, how much you had to drink this evening? Who, me? Yes, ma'am. I drank a little beer. I ain't had that much. You had, you had a little I beer this evening? That's her whiskey, what they got. Okay, how did it start? It started off with her son. I tell them about her son. She ought not tell everybody about it. Okay, and, and that made what, you mad? That's what made her mad. It made her mad, and then her. what made you pick up a knife, though? No, she started on me then. Did she, what did she do to you? She ain't done nothing to me. She okay. started on me. A young woman like that, 50 years old, you think I'm gonna stand up and let her do something to me? By words. That's that's basically what we're, she, she was well, saying certain words to you that made you upset, is that right? Right, right. Okay, so right. That, that made you feel like you needed to grab a knife and that do a little bit of it. No she reason. do it to me. Okay, so you felt like you needed to defend yourself? I defend myself before she did it. Okay, well, that's that's a little harsh to pick up a knife and defend yourself over I somebody saying me. certain words to you. So well, sure let's did. let's understand. I'm not sure if the alcohol might have produced a little bit of it, that's but just have a seat right there on the couch, okay? Got a problem. All right. Did you get that knife? Tell me she yeah, got a problem. Okay. She got a, I'm um, got a problem. She the win problem. Telling you all about what me. it started all about about. Let me tell you what it started about. I told her she ought not to tell folks about her son cause she his mother. You can't He's tell me about son. my child. I don't know about your child. She's but you're not related. Uh -uh. You're not That's related not in any way. She strutted it all around. Her son's a punk. I told her she was And I talked to you me. about it. Okay, hey, we don't need to shout in here, okay? You're already, you're already, you're already hurt. She's That's just telling right. me her side of the story. That's it, okay? There's All no right. sense in to get loud in here. All right. You right. So let's show a little respect, okay? All right. Uh, 91 year old lady. She uh, has a friend over, and they've been doing a little bit of drinking, and uh, got to talking about her son. Uh, I guess the lady started talking about her son being a punk, and. This lady said, you don't need to be talking about your kid like that. And she got mad and she started saying, you know, little argument words going on. She felt threatened by that. So she went and grabbed a big old knife and felt she needed to defend herself. And she came up and stabbed her while she was sitting on the, uh, on the couch, put a nice little gash right there in her arm, puncture hole. Uh, they're gonna look at her and treat her. And then uh, we got this 91 year old lady. I mean, she's, uh, you know, it's pretty much a good battery charge. So. We're gonna to have to go ahead and do what we got to do and arrest her. Yeah, does she know where she's at right now? Do you explain to her the kind of consequences? What's going on? Over she's there? coherent. I mean, I, I explained to her that you know that there's no need in you know using violence towards somebody just over an argument. Um, so, but we haven't told her that you know that we're we're gonna to have to take her to jail. I mean, she, you know, it's a it's a violent crime, and you know I've, I've explained that part to her, but she doesn't know she's going to jail yet. So, victim, uh, she gonna be go down the o. I think she's going to the hospital. Yeah, she's, oh, she's gonna have to go to the hospital. She's gonna have oh, yeah. to have a couple stitches yeah. to close it back up. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good little bit. Let's yeah, go ahead and get her and. Uh, Take her out of the deal since you've already talked to him. We'll okay. Go from there. Ma'am, okay. have you got a key to your house? Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and need to lock the door right now because we're fixing to have to go downtown to the detective division and do some paperwork on you. You're, you're going to be under arrest for, for battery. Let's go. Let's go. We'll find, we'll find something to lock it up with, okay? We'll, we'll try to call the housing authority and see if they have a, key, a spare key to come lock it up. Okay? All right. Okay. Did you find a key? No. Did we have any kind of contact number for the housing authority? She stabbed one of her friends. Okay, miss, do you understand once more 
as I explained to you a minute ago, why you're going to jail, right? Tell me again. <laughs> okay, you're going to jail because you stabbed your friend with that knife, okay? She wasn't and that's, a friend of mine. That, that, she that is a battery charge. That's a violent crime to, towards somebody, okay? Yes, so sir. that's why you're going to jail, and all right? And she was your roommate. Exactly, so I we... I she ain't no my roommate, is she? Well, we're gonna have to get her evicted. I wish so. We'll, we'll get her out, but right now that's why we're having to take you to jail, okay? Be careful sitting in there, because it's going to be a hard seat when you get in, but I'll hold on to you when you're getting in. All right, you're in. Okay, units, code red this channel for the 411A. Two Johns with them. We'll be 467 on at Walgreens. Copy. Driver, put your hands out of the window. Open it from the outside. Put your hands, hands to the sky. Passenger, put your hands up. I'm going to walk you back to my car. Around backwards. Around. Passenger, get out of the car. Uh, just got anybody rolling cold. Over there. On your knees, face the same direction. Hands behind your back, palms together, on your knees. Two John, we're code four, lift the red. Go ahead, stand up. In front of that car there. Face the car. Okay. How do you know him? How he do you know him? He's out of a friend of mine's house. Do you know his name? His name is Brian. Um, Speak up. I can't hear you. He's probably given me a ride maybe two times. Okay. Is this Brian's car here? I'm assuming so. Okay. Is it obviously not? Well, the car's been reported stolen, so. Oh, Is my this God. your purse here? Is that your purse? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. How about that backpack? Does that backpack belong to you? Yes. Okay. Are you my, you the victim here? Yes, sir. That's your vehicle? Yes, sir, it is. What happened? Um, he, we were at a hotel, we came out, and I went to give the key, and he jumped in the driver's seat and took off. How do you know him? Um, I met him at the casino, and he he was telling me he, he knew somebody that would give him $200 for pictures and would I be interested in taking the pictures for uh -huh. him and I said yeah all right so he took the pictures for him and then we were leaving got out of the car like an idiot left the keys in the car and he jumps in and he's gone he's gone and then right now I saw him and I know it was my car because of the front driver's tire and you also recognized him and I said the tire the tire and the driver's side window is also broken okay and we just followed him and, yay! Well, you got your car back, but next time when you meet someone that you oh, don't, I don't want know, to meet anybody anymore. like I said, quick money's not always good money. Exactly. I... You know, fortunately for you, it worked out on your side to where at least you got your vehicle back. Well, this all worked out well. Now, how did you meet her? I've seen her. Okay. How did all this come about? You met her doing what? Yeah. Okay. Then what happened? We went to her room. Went to her room? Okay. And and why did you go to her room? Went to party. Went to party. Drugs party or drink party or what do you mean party? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Hmm? Maybe a little bit. A little bit of both? Okay. What's the story behind these pictures? You're supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of you? I was supposed to be making money off someone that wanted pictures of me? Someone was supposed to pay you she, pictures for you? I don't know what she told you about that. I have no idea what she told you about that. Well, I mean, it's well, I mean, nothing to be ashamed of. If someone wants to pay for pictures of you, yeah, I mean... No, I, it's not like that, you know? 
what we were doing, we were there because we were partying. That's okay. what we were there for. We, not me. Pictures end up being taken. Is it going to be of her and you or just of you? Um, and does she have the camera now or do you no, have No, the it? camera got thrown away. I do believe well, maybe that you know of. There might have been. No, it got thrown away. Okay. But if, as far as just me, no, maybe there was something over. I'm okay. Maybe or there was? There might have been a couple snapshots of her, yeah. Did you snap any or no? Just a couple, yes. But... Okay, and she snapped a couple of you? Yeah. Okay, face car. You're free to go. Um, hopefully, you won't be victimized again under these types of circumstances. Not all money is good money, OK? Not to mention, I'm sure there's going to be some drugs involved here. I mean, there's going to be a little more than you going to his room taking pictures. Fortunately for you, you got your car back. Now, hopefully, you'll learn from this and go get some help to kick your habit. All righty? All right, good luck to you. See you later. We had uh, Washington State Patrols asked for our help. They're trying to catch up to a Jeep and they've asked us to try and get ahead of them with spike strips. And we're just a couple blocks away, so we're gonna try and get spikes down and see if we can end their chase before it really gets going. They just went through the intersection. This year, some pursuit is just following the vehicle. So just kind of rolling. And now we're going to take off going westbound on Garfield from Hansworth. Appreciate what's on Garfield from Hansworth now. This state's the primary. Can you ask that again? This state's the primary. No, we are. And uh, he careened a cross spinway loop and into a yard. Is this all from the accident? No, I stalked him. He took off from me. Come on. Okay. I didn't stalk him. Walk this way. I said you took off from me. I didn't say you talk, yeah. stalked me. State patrol stopped this car. I think it was involved in a hit and run, and they took off from state. We, uh, we picked up, and when we tried to stop the car, he did stop and then just took off. And uh, when he came up to this intersection right here, he just careened right through it into these people's fence. You can see he knocked out actually their driveway fence right over here. And he tried to make a U-turn and uh, get back out on the road. And we just, we just pinned him in the car and said, you're not getting back out on the road. We're done for tonight here. So we'll find out what the troopers want him for. And now uh, we'll add vandalism and hit and run to all that. Was he in a hit and run? No, he just took off from me. OK. But he's got all that damage. I stopped him. What yet. Okay. Route seven. He almost hit that construction. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. He almost hit those guys. So I stopped him and went inside the car and he took off. Okay. 
Well, I'll wake up the people here because you can see he took out a couple feet of the fence and the gate. Okay, we got. Last, uh, okay, we got aid. Okay, guys. Right, have a seat. Have a seat in there, real quick. Watch your head. Watch your head. Slide in there. Slide in there. Put your feet in there. So is this damage to the front? Is that all from this? From coming through the gate, or is that from before? Yeah, no, he didn't hit anything before he came up here and when okay. you got in front of him. Um, it started clear out on Sterile 7. Were you guys was, chasing him or just following him? Well, at first I, was, I lit him up and I pulled him over. Mm -hmm. And then at that time, then I just um, walked out the side of the car. Mm -hmm. I seen his driver's license. His phone went for his driver's license. I see it and I said, there's your driver's license. Why don't you give it to me? He said, no. Funk and left. Really? So at first I was lights and sirens, and then he started blowing stop signs, so I turned off okay. because, you know, he was um, blowing stop signs and not stopping anywhere. <laughs> so I turned it off and he slowed down. Um, I was just waiting to get somebody else behind me so we could take care of it. Even with no lights on, as soon as he saw us, he blew that stop sign at 116 okay. and it was on. He's got all the stop signs that he blew back to it. Uh, I'll yeah. Backtrack the course and then right. do I'll do that while you okay. take him for the BAC. Okay. okay. I, I got no problem with eluding just from from my part of things because we were behind him for about three blocks with the lights and siren, and then he stopped, and then this made this took off, and I looked okay. through this guy's yard, so he he knew it was the police. And oh yeah. He just didn't want to stop for us. Sounds good. I responded to a uh, one subject beating another. It was initially reported as they were on top of the. Uh, subject and they're now down and the suspect's walking away and we'll find out what happens when we get there hey stay seated come back over here police officer come over here cool. grab a seat so where's the other half of this my dad he's you're dead down the street. where's he at he's down the street somewhere does he live down there or did he walk down there i don't know Okay. Can I get home soon? Yeah, let's see. So what happened with you and your dad? Nah, we started fighting. What are you fighting with your dad? Nah, we tried to walk back, back, uh, back down the back streets. Uh-huh. And I was drunk. So what happened? What started it? Man, I'm drunk. So is your dad going to be as uh, roughed up as you are? Yeah. A little more? Yeah. Hang tight right there. The suspect, the one that hit him. His is, father? Oh, I don't know. He's on his yeah, it's his not. father. He's he's almost to shield. He's on walking north. Is he on Fowler? Side. Okay. Is he uh, beat up pretty bad? I don't know. He looks like he's walking pretty straight, so I don't think he's so. in okay. the middle of the street. So okay. okay. What what did you guys see? I saw the guy that's walking hit him uh -huh. and then climb on top of him, and I saw him hitting him several times and choking him. And choking him? Yeah. Okay. So the other one had the best of this one here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We have your phone number? Um, my yeah. cell phone number. Okay. If, if you can leave it on, we may be calling you back shortly. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to talk to your dad, see who we got here. You, gotta you want your dad home? arrested? No. No? You guys going to be right home? I'll talk to him tomorrow. Someone will give you a ride home. Oh. Someone right. will give you a ride. Has not been patted down. He's got blood all over him. Okay. What's this guy look like? Oh, it's his father. What we're gonna do? We're gonna pat him down, take him over to his house, and uh, find his father and see what we got. Okay. See if anyone wants anything done. Stand up for me. I'm gonna have you sit in the back of my car, right? You got my wallet? Yeah. Stand up. Whoa! <laughs> Relax. Yeah, uh, I guess so. But like the east side, I don't want you to fall, man. How many beers have you had? Like four. Or five. Okay. Relax. See if dad's home. No. Your dad home? Can you, ask, can you ask him to come out and talk to us? They were going at it pretty well. What's your dad's name? Alex. Can you hang out for a second? Sure. You mind if we come in? Or you want to come out and talk to us? You want to come in? Come out? Doesn't matter. Either way. You don't mind if I do this, do you? Ouch. So what happened? Uh, we were there one minute. Next minute, it was like, damn, hell blue. Three Henry out there? Uh, it was like, uh, 
watching the strippers, and before you know it, it's like three frames, two one to okay, three. Okay, time to go. So what started all this? Walking down the road. Can't drive. We're drinking. You can't drive. And then, booyah. 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 You know, just one of those crazy kind of things. You know what I mean? You want to press charges? Blues? You want to press charges against your son? Oh, come on. Mr. Just uh, I gotta ask that. I know, but I can guess the answer, but I gotta ask that. That's my job. It, it's because obviously you got pummeled. I mean, you got a laceration up above your left eye, across yeah. the bridge of your nose. Yeah, it's like one of those bam. It's like. Are you headbutt you? Yeah. But it's like one of those. You know what? Are you not paying attention? Why are you not listening? You know when you give the lecture. Mm-hmm. You know, the dad thing. And your son lives here with you, right? Why well, you just get out of the service? So he's staying here? Yeah. Your son's going to go to jail for drunken public. Or you're going to stay here, and hopefully you guys can patch this up uh, when he gets out of jail and comes back. Do you want him back here? Well, which one do you want, Jay? I mean, do you want him back here? Well, I don't want him arrested, but I guess there's no way they got to take him overnight. He's going to go to jail for about six hours, no, six, to, six to eight hours. Do you, do you want to talk to your son right now? I meant nothing, sir. When he gets out, it's obvious. He's not, he's not going to be able to live here. These guys aren't going to get along. Well, that's off the top. Here, come out. That's your brother, right? Yeah. Okay. Does this happen often? Mm, well, not on purpose. Probably like once or twice, you know, when they don't, they don't agree on something. But it's going to happen when they drink. Whenever they drink, they go to blows? Not every time, but... It's happened a couple times before, though. Probably once. Okay. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. What's your uh, first name? Uh, JR. JR? Yeah. And this is Anthony, right? Yeah. Anthony, step out real quick. You want to talk to JR? Why? He's here. You want to talk to him? Calm, bro. Uh, yes or no? Yeah, my wrist hurt, though. Okay. We'll loosen him up right here. You okay? No. Okay. Do me a favor. Yeah. Turn face that way. We're going to loosen him real quick. You're going to be okay. Be calm. They're gonna let you calm. I've been there for like at least 15 minutes. But don't think it's funny. Just, just be calm about it. Learn something about it, okay? What? Uh, what it is? Yeah. Sober up. All right, Anthony. Oh, Drop it for tonight. You have to talk sober. Drop it for tonight. Sober up. Yeah, in a little bit. Can you have a seat? Oh. Just be quiet, bro. Should, should I sit like this or should I get inside? If you want to, yeah, sit like that. If you want to put your uh, feet up on the seat, just yeah, scoot your butt all the way in. Man, this is, man. That's right. You want to talk to your dad? All right. Well, he doesn't want to talk to you, so. Cool. Put your foot in there. Okay, got a vehicle here, no license plate lamp. Uh, made a couple erratic turns as we were uh, behind it. Pull him over here and see what we got. Met six traffic. Met six. be Baker just north of Arrow on 813. How you doing tonight? Hi. The reason I pulled you over, you have no license plate lamp. Are you aware of that? No. I no. just got it back from the mechanic today. What was wrong with it? Um, we just got a new rack and pinion put in it. Rack and pinion set up? Like power steering put in everywhere. Okay, driver's license, registration, and proof of. I don't have my license on. Why not? I just we left to see a friend, and I left it at home. You left it at home, huh? I can tell you my license number. You know that? Have you been arrested before? Any tickets? Uh, yeah. For what? Possession. Possession. When was that? Oh, Lord. a while ago. How long's a while? A months. 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 Yeah. Okay. Are you on probation? No. No probation no, yet. I have you? My ticket and just left. You went to court. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Any type of ID on you, sir? Yeah. How about there, back there? Anybody else been arrested for anything before? Any tickets? I'm on parole. You're on parole. Yeah. Okay. What are you on parole for? Robbery. Robbery. Out of where? Out of the Ontario. Out of the Ontario. Ontario. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need you to step out. Me? Yeah. Yeah. You can stay there, man. You have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No. Any weapons, anything like no. that? Okay, just have a seat right here for me. All right, sir, will you step out for me, please? I need to check in the whole area that you don't have anything on you, nope. any weapons. I just want to patch you down, mate, just for safety. Yeah. 
What's this right here? That's uh, my cell phone. Cell phone? Anyway. Okay, do me a favor, have a seat right next to your partner over there. Ma'am, do you mind stepping out for me? Do you have anything on you you're not supposed to have? No? Due to the fact that you have been arrested before for possession, so I just want to make sure you don't have anything on you right now. We, I stopped after all that. You stopped after that? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Just um, let me make sure you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that. Okay, and your cigarette case. Lighter. Okay, nothing else in there. Okay, just have a seat right there. Is there anything in the vehicle I need to be worried about? No. Do you mind if I check just to make sure? Now, why would you want to do that to yourself? So I can be happy all every day. Well, you I don't need to put scars and burn yourself to be happy with it. No, I don't. But it reminds me to be happy, like you tie a, a string around a finger. Well, I thought that was the thing on your wrist. No, that's for my hair. Well, why don't you utilize that instead of putting, uh, burn and putting cigarette burns in your hands? Some people are into, you know... They... Sadomasochism? Well, no, that's not sadomasochism. No? Sadomasochism, they, they get off on pain. Didn't find anything behind the seat, but um, did find something here in the uh, little fold down. A nice little sack of marijuana right next to the driver. Looks like it's pretty close to an ounce, maybe just under an ounce, more than likely. If she's on probation, then she's going to go to jail. But if she's not on probation, like she says, she end up getting a ticket for that. She'll have to go in front of the judge and explain why she's got marijuana in her little compartment here, which is obviously in her immediate control. Yep, another little baggie. This one was probably on her when I pulled her over, and this is what she stuffed underneath the, the seat. It's not a harmful substance. It's not a harmful substance. People who can use it responsibly, as with alcohol in adults, it is not a harmful substance. So you're quite knowledgeable in marijuana, is that correct? I'm a college student. I'm, I'm you're a college someone student? intelligent. I've done research. And do you know what tetrahydrocannabinol is? The technical word for THC. That's absolutely correct. And what does that do to one? It affects your brain. It affects your brain. But there's no proof it would, can kill brain cells. Would it affect your driving? Answer me that. Yes, it would, but I am not high. Okay, well, that's what I'm not, well, I'm not telling you, asking you that. Well, I understand it affects your driving. It should be used responsibly as with any legal substance. However, I do not think people should be charged for a substance that is virtually less harmless than most of the prescription medications that doctors prescribe. Is it illegal? Yes, it is. Then there you go. Until it's legal, you can't drive around with it. That's my opinion. I'm not fighting you that it's illegal. How about this? This was underneath the seat. Was this on you when I pulled you over and you just stuffed it underneath the seat? It was already there. It was already there? Yeah. So you got weed everywhere. What was your first name? Michael. Michael, go ahead and stand up for me. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Michael, you have a warrant for your arrest. What? Yep. Man, what is it for? Well, I don't know at this time, but I'll let you know in a second. I think I know what it's for. It's for the, uh, it's a bench warrant. Because I didn't show up to court because I was locked up. Well, there you go. Can I put him in your unit? I'll get another unit over here to transport, but just... Thank you. What happened is I cited you for driver in possession of marijuana less than an ounce. And um, it's a misdemeanor, but it's a site, and I'm going to site release you from here. And I also cited you for no license plate lamp. That's why I pulled you over. Since you're not on probation, it's not going to go against you as far as that goes, okay? All right, um, the keys are here, and you guys are free to leave. Thank you for cooperation. Yep. I'm kind of amazed that she's a little on the perturbed side that uh, marijuana is not legalized. She doesn't have a prescription for uh, carrying marijuana, so as far as I know, that's illegal here in California. Well, you're right there. Yeah. That's why uh, she's going to have to go to court. You have to go to court and talk to the judge. He's jail, and the other guy left out. Yeah, he was a straight one. That's cool. Good deal. Bad boys, bad boys, I watch you go.